Let's talk about some of the diseases that exposure to asbestos can cause. Hi, I'm Joe Williams. I'm a mesothelioma and asbestos attorney in New York City, and I can answer some questions for you as to the asbestos-related diseases that are widely accepted in the medical and scientific community. And these would be broken down into two types of diseases. The first are what we call scarring diseases, which are not cancerous uh, diseases. And the second are malignant diseases, which are a cancer uh, process. So the, the first two diseases I'll talk to you about is uh, asbestosis and pleuroplaques. Asbestosis is a fibrotic scarring of the inside of the lungs. The doctors would call it the parenchyma, or the meat of the lung. Uh, a fibrotic scarring on the inside of the lungs, which can cause a lot of disability. It's not cancer, but it can be quite serious. The next non-cancerous disease is known as pleural plaques. And the pleura is a sac-like lining outside the lung. So if you think of uh, sort of like a piece of saran wrap, that's the texture of the pleura. And the pleura can develop scarring from the asbestos fibers that a worker breathes in over the course of their life. And uh, on a CAT scan or even sometimes on an x-ray, these show up as what's called pleural plaques. Again, not cancer, but can be serious. With respect to the cancerous diseases, there's two that I want to focus on today. The first is lung cancer, and lung cancer is a cancerous tumor, a malignant tumor in the meat of the lung, in the lung parenchyma. And the second cancerous disease caused by asbestos that I want to focus on today, and it's certainly the most important uh, asbestos-related disease because of the severity of it, is malignant mesothelioma. And malignant mesothelioma of the pleura is a cancerous tumor that grows on that pleural surface that I described a moment ago, that saran wrap-like uh, sac that surrounds the outside of the lung. And this malignant mesothelioma tumor grows in a diffuse pattern. Uh, if you think of the rind of a grapefruit, sometimes people think of a cancerous tumor as uh, what we call like a golf ball tumor. Malignant mesothelioma doesn't grow in that way. It's more of a diffuse pattern like the rind of a grapefruit. Uh, and it's caused by exposure to asbestos. Now, I'm sure you have many other questions about the disease pattern and the diseases caused by asbestos. And we can answer those questions. I'm Joe Williams. And every day at our firm, we handle cases for mesothelioma victims and their families. And we certainly can answer your questions. And we'd be happy to do that. I hope you found this video informative. And I thank you very much for watching.